What's going on, everybody? Welcome to episode 17 of our Leipzig career mode and the season finale here at RB Leipzig. And today we are going to play both cup games. We have a cup final against Bayern Munich in the DFB Pokal. Pokal. And then we have the Champions League final against Real Madrid, who beat us 7-1 in the two games um, in the group stage. We're also going to take a quick look and see how the season ends. Never mind, I lied. Leverkusen drew their game. So we're not actually going to do that. I set that all up for for absolutely nothing, which is which is perfect. So let's take a look. As you can see, there is some news in there. As um, a couple of offers have come in. We're looking to add a buy option for the 19-year-old. We're going to reject that. And then Hartman, um, 20 years old, has re he's rejected it. So, I mean, why bother bringing us to that? But as you can see, Huang He Chen has returned from injury. And we said when it happened that he might be able to come back if we got to some cup finals. And there he is, Huang He Chen back on the final... Uh, for the final day, we are going to slip him into the squad. Um, Gravenberch can sit. And Huang Yi Chen, that is awesome to have him back. A long-term injury, a dislocated shoulder. Hopefully, he's back to his best. And we can go forward. So, let's sim our way to the first cup final here. After the cup finals as well, we are going to take a look and see... Um, we're going to go through the squad, see how everybody did this year and stuff. We're going to do all our end-of-season regular stuff. That is all going to happen today. So stay tuned after the two finals for that. And we'll talk about transfers. We'll talk about, you know, goals and assists, appearances, how everyone did, that sort of stuff, if you haven't seen it before. But let's jump into this. We have a cup game here, a cup final. Youth player is unsettled. Who is it? Noah Muller. We can go ahead and get rid of all this and make sure Noah's not an excellent player. He would like to join the first team. Let's take a look. As you can see, we've got some good players here. Um, Noah Muller. He's not too, too bad. We'll bring him up to the senior team. That's okay. But as you can see, this lad right here, Luke Berger, I'm going to keep him in here for a little bit longer. Um, but he's growing very, very nicely. This lad here we can release. And the others... Not looking too, too bad either. And these two especially looking very, very good. Schaefer and Berger. So we're going to take a look at them later on. So let's jump forward. Leipzig-Bayern Cup Final. They've beat us to the league. I didn't realize who was unsettled there. I clicked the wrong one. Oof. All right, you know what? We'll just... We'll just bring up those two, the two important ones there. If they're upset, if the other guy's upset, I'm okay letting him go. But let's promote him to the senior team, promote Schaefer to the senior team. And those two lads right there, they look like they're going to be pretty good anyway, so I kind of want to get them into the team a little bit. So let's jump into this Leipzig-Bayern, a cup final. Everyone's fit, everybody's raring to go. Hangy Chan's back. Let's jump into this. Ball out to Nkunku. And play that forward. Waiting for the overlap here. And now Fakir can have a little bit of a run. And Fakir doing so, so well here. It's a great ball in. I'm not sure where that other guy was going, but Neuer. And a poor spot. And on seven minutes, we've taken a lead in the final. It's an excellent hit. Had to get it into that gap, but Neuer came out and didn't cover the post. He didn't shut down the angle here. He came out, didn't shut it down. It's not good goalkeeping. It is really bad goalkeeping from Neuer. And Nkunku gives us a 1-0 lead here. Nkunku. Nice football. He's Klosterman. And we've started really, really well here going forward. And it's Fekir. And he can slip it back in. And it's Sabitza. Oh, it's deflected wide. I thought he touched that. And it still went into the back of the net. Very, very close. As Kempembe is the one who got a touch onto that. I'm not sure if Neuer would have saved it. Either way, it's a very big chance, and we almost just grab a second goal. And it's Klosterman here, and he's going to go for him. His left foot, and he's hit the bar. Jesus, I thought that found the back of the net for a moment as well. It's a pretty decent hit. 
Neuer can't get to it. It smashes the bar. We've started really, really well here. Klosterman. Good ball forward here. Get that all the way out wide. We can. Here's Hasselberg. Back inside. Here's Wang Yi Chen. Klosterman. And Klosterman goes for goal. That's a good save. Tight angle. He's just hit that first time. Lewandowski's going to get to this ball from Kanate, but at the moment, we're keeping Bayern in check. He's going to have a run inside. And Huang Yi Chan's going to have a run inside. Still holding on to it, Fekir. And Fekir, can he get away here? He's bumped off. It's a little bit of an inter <laughs> a pick. Or a little bit of a cover there by our player. He kind of just bumped off. Set a screen. And we grab ourselves an attempt, but Fekir can't quite beat Neuer. And now can we go forward? Haslenberg. Played back into space. Limer. This is good football. One more. Gets it to Nkunku. Nkunku steps inside. And Huang Yi Chan peeling off the back. Huang Yi Chan. Oh, good save. Excellently done. His pace brings another dynamic option to our forward line when he's on the pitch. Are we going to have a recycle here as well? Klosterman. Having a turn here. Still holding on to it. Gets it to Huang Yi Chen. Great little turn from him. And he turns back inside. Finds the ball across. And we can't quite get the shot off. Played in. Here's Fekir. And Fekir can play a ball out there to Huang Yi Chen. And he gets onto it. Huang Yi Chen, it's 2 0. And with 20 minutes to go, has Huang Yi Chen sealed us the cup? Bayern have yet to have a shot. And Huang Yi Chen. Has doubled up our lead. He's back from injury. And he's back with a bang. A goal in the cup final. It's a good ball through. And he's just hammered that into the back of the net. Excellently done. It's a great finish from him. Just hits it in that run of his. An excellent finish. And with 20 minutes to go, it's 2-0. Played on to Sabitza. Back into space here. Here's Limer. Played inside. One more here. Can we get that out? We can. Back inside here to Danny Elmo now. And look at this football here. And we have carved open Bayern there. And surely sealed the cup. Fekir, what a finish. It's an excellent, excellent goal. And Bayern must still be hung over from the <laughs> celebrations of winning the title. Because they have been awful today. That Look at that finish. That's a really good finish. No chance for Neuer whatsoever. 15 minutes to go. It's 3-0. Byron pushing forward as they look for a consolation. Muller stepping inside, does well, cuts into it, and that's a good save. That's one of their first shots of the day. And Galashi coming up big. So that gets clipped forward. Can we get a head onto it? We just do. And it's going to go out for another corner. As Byron, as I said, looking for just a consolation here. As Sané goes off the pitch, Felipe Anderson on. Like it slipped into a good spot. Another block. And we are getting close to that time. We're about to lift the trophy. Two minutes to go. As Bayern continue to push. Series of corners. And eventually one comes in and finds the back of the net. Into the back of the net. I'm not sure who hit that. I think it's Lewandowski. Yeah, it's Lewandowski. It's a good header, but... Kind of close to Galashi. You feel he could save it, but we are going to come away with the cup. Two trophies up for grabs in, or in the domestic league, I should say. And we are going to grab one and Bayern are going to grab one. That is not the pass I was looking for. But we are both going to grab one. And next year we'll be fighting it out once again as Danny Elmo comes forward, goes at Kimpembe, loses him. Nice touch inside. Can't quite get it across. And there it is. Blow the whistle. There it is. DFB Pokal Champs. Leipzig. As the fans celebrate a trophy. We grab one in our first year. We still have another one up for grabs. We didn't reach the title. But we showed Bayern Munich that next season. We'll be back for it. We'll be back to fight. And Kunku celebrating. Upa Makano celebrating. Everybody celebrating there. A huge win. A cup bought home. 
That is what we like to see because our game against Real Madrid is going to be tough. They ripped us apart those first two games in the group stage. Sabitza is set to lift the trophy. Sabitza, the captain. That's a lovely trophy. He is the captain. He is the man on this shirt. He is one of their most recognized players and an excellent midfielder. And he is going to lift a very nice trophy. This is the first trophy I've won on this FIFA. Maybe the trophies are just nicer, but it's a good one. It's a nice one. It's a trophy lifted. It's a celebration started. But hopefully we don't go into the next one with a hangover like Byron seemed to come into this one. Red and white confetti. Sprayed out everywhere. Excellently done. We have a good squad here. A young squad that could have a couple pieces added on. This is one of those squads that's really good from the start. And if you continue to grow them as they were, they turn into powerhouses. This is one of those teams with that. Plenty of really good players who are young and continuing to grow. But already almost at that elite level. And that's what we have here as Sabitza bounces around. And that'll be that. An excellent, excellent win. 3-1 the final. Not great from Bayern, but as I said, they've just won the league, so we could have that. We could have that one. But next, it does not end there. We go for more silverware. A Champions League final a week later against a team that was in our group that tore us apart, really. I mean, 5-0 the first time, 2-1 the second time. It was a little bit tighter the second time, but they were still really, really good. Hopefully we just catch them on an off day. Maybe they won their league as well, and they've got a little bit of a hangover as well. But let's jump into this. Everybody's fit. Everybody's raring to go. Champions League final. Can we crown ourselves, quote-unquote, the best team in Europe? It'll be a challenge. It'll be a fight. Let's go. Free kick in an incredibly dangerous area. Benzema standing over it. Now is Grimaldo, and he's the one who hits. Oh, and it's... Wow. Has that hit the post and then Galashi and then the post again? We're watching that again. I am pretty positive that's what's happened. Grimaldo hits it, goes over the wall, and it hits the post, hits Galashi on the shoulder, and then hits the bar and goes over. Jesus. Wow. Oh my goodness. It's even worse in slow motion. It's it's more uncomfortable in slow motion. That ball's coming back in as well. They're trying to create a little bit here. How in the world has Hazard done that? I will not know. It's played forward again, and they're playing really good football, and it's 1-0. And Benzema opens the scoring in the Champions League final, as he did a couple years ago against Liverpool. A ridiculous goal to concede at the time, but I thought we'd held him off here. He just stopped running into that space. Then Benzema just <laughs> held on to it, fired it home. It's a great finish from him. And after 14 minutes, it's gone the way the other two have gone. Real Madrid have scored first. Limer. Nice football here. Can we get it all the way out? We can. And it's Fekir. Great touch. Tight angle. Oh, good save. Courtois with an excellent save there. I thought for a moment we may have found the corner. But an excellent save from the Belgian. Nicely played forward. Danny Almo can swing that inside to Nkunku. Fekir making a good run inside. Dragging Klosterman into space. And it's Klosterman. Oh, it's wide of the post. Courtois just watched it go. We're approaching half time. We're creating opportunities. We need to take one. Nice tackle. Can we bring this forward now? We're on it here, and Huangy Chan's kind of peeled off the back. Now it's come out to Fakir, and Fakir can have a run at Grimaldo. Cuts back inside, still holding on to it. Can get it to Huangy Chan in space. It's 1 1. And we've leveled it up here in the Champions League final. Huangy Chan back from injury, scoring in both finals. What more could you ask for? A superhero returns. 52 minutes gone. And now this final has set itself up incredibly nicely. 
It's a great finish. It's a lovely little move. And as we said, we were starting to create a couple chances. There have been five shots this game. Three from us, two from Real Madrid. It's 1-1 and a heck of a 40 minutes we've got here. Oh, what is that by Varane? What is he thinking? Ooh. Oh, nicely played. Benzema on it. Trying to step inside, but can't. Upa Meccano doing brilliantly here. And he can't quite get that pass out. But we might be able to get it out there now. Fekir, is he onside? He's going to get onto this Fekir. Steps inside, top of the box. And Kunku! Oh. Skies it. Can Kanate get to this? Not quite. He's going to try and step inside. He can. It's Valverde. That's an excellent finish. What has happened there? Real Madrid lead 2-1 here. 63 minutes gone. Oh, what in the world? That got slipped in there. We just couldn't get a foot on it. And watch that again. And right over there, Canate trying to get to it. Just can't. Had to go around. And Valverde's got a lot of pace in this game. He's just beating Canate. And I'm actually going to change Canate out. and Not because... Um, not because he's a he's playing poorly or anything like that, but that yellow card is scaring me. I haven't been sent off all year, and at the moment they are moving incredibly quickly. Valverde there, as you saw, grabbing the goal. It's 64 minutes gone. It's 2-1. Moved on here nicely. There's space here. Does well to cut back inside. How's he gotten that through? How has he gotten through? It's 3-1 to Real Madrid. I hate this team so much. What in the world is this celebration? Stop it. Jesus. Rodrigo with the goal. But he's held on to it here. And he's just slipped in. And then how has he done that? I hate the little moves they do. It's something about Real Madrid we cannot beat. 20 minutes to go. We need a mini miracle here in the final. We need two. One more. There we go. Quickly up the pitch. It's Fekir. It's... There's just a touch of hope. We have to score right here and nick the ball on the kickoff. And that's it. We are going to lose the final to our group stage opponents. We have lost all three games this year in the Champions League to Real Madrid. I have had enough of Real Madrid. Real Madrid crowned champions... We miss out. 3-1 the score. We're not watching this. I don't need to watch it. I don't need to watch the goals. Ugh. They're a good side, Real Madrid. And they, as I said, that's 10-2 over three legs. It's not great. Not great. We need to <laughs> work on beating Real Madrid in general because we walk through pretty much everyone else. But Real Madrid are problematic, aren't they? That they are. Player contracts exciting. Schauner can go. I'm comfortable with him going. Bit of money for the Champions League. But we get to the final and drop out. It's tough, but it happens. So there are two trophies. We haven't won yet. We'll be going after them next year. And hopefully, you know, we'll fare a little bit better. So let's take a look at how the other leagues went. And then we'll take a look and see how everybody did this year individually. Before we take a look at some other stuff. In the Premier League, Manchester City champions. Seven points out of Liverpool. 97 points. 31 wins. Four draws. Three losses. Liverpool with nine draws. That's what did it. And then Leicester third. United fourth. Chelsea, Tottenham, Arsenal, Wolves, Everton. Firing up Leeds, Sheffield United, and Aston Villa relegated. It's a very tight relegation race. As you can see, it's a little bit more realistic in the table now. The team's surviving 32, 33 points. The team's winning the title. 97 is quite a bit, but, you know, 90. Liverpool and City have been setting those paces the last couple of years. And next we have um, League uh, League uh, Uber Eats. Brilliant. Paris win the league by 12 points. Leon, Marseille, and Lille after the fact. And then Monaco, Ren going on down further. Brest, Dijon, and Metz relegated. 
And then we have the Bundesliga, of course, which we're in Serie A. There is no Serie B this year, I don't think, so nobody gets relegated, which is wild. But Napoli win the league. Five points ahead of Juventus. That's impressive for them. Inter, Lazio, the next two. And then Rome, Atalanta, Milan following it up. That seems like a pretty realistic table as well outside of Juventus not winning it, though Napoli winning it wouldn't become as a wild surprise or anything like that. And then we have La Liga, who will be the last one. Real Madrid champions there, beating Barcelona out by three points. Barcelona with six losses. That's done it for them. Eight draws for Real Madrid. Sevilla, Atletico Madrid following. And then Sociedad, Villarreal, Valencia, Athletic, Betis is kind of pretty straightforward from there. So, I mean... It's one of those things. We're going to take a look at who won the Europa League as well. To get to a final and lose is always... It's tough, but it, it is what it is. As Arsenal beat Leverkusen, who had a really good year, of course, in the final. Club Bruges getting to the semifinal. Impressive. Atalanta, of course, no joke either. They finished third in their group in the Champions League, I believe. So let's take a look at the squad, how everyone did, how everyone fared this year. We'll take a look at the stats. Galashi, 56 appearances, 16 clean sheets. Not too bad. He's 31. Should be around the entirety of our um, career here. And Voga will be coming back unless he'll be bought out completely. That's a little bit of money coming our way. Um, Schauner's leaving for free. We've got a couple of goalkeepers here, younger ones. Martinez will have to be the backup, I suppose. Um, or we may look into bringing in a backup as well. Haslenberg. 37 appearances, 2 goals, 1 assist, 9 clean sheets, 82 overall at 29. Um, that's why we want to bring in someone like Angelino. Younger, good. I want to bring him in permanently. He's had 32 appearances, a goal, and 2 assists. I want to bring him in permanently, see what we can do there. And Sirachi's coming back as well. Someone we may loan out again or possibly move on. We'll see as we go. Klosterman. Can play center back or right back, depending on what happens. We'll talk about it in the end. 42 appearances, 5 goals, 4 assists. He was playing at right back this season. 83 overall, still only 24. An excellent player. Upa Makano, 83 overall now, 22 years of age. The center back in this FIFA, you would think. And he will be staying. 45 appearances, 10 clean sheets. Very, very good. Kanate, 44 appearances. His partner now only 22 as well. 82 overall. An excellent center back to have along with us also. Schurz coming in as the backup. Will be the fourth choice next year, I believe. We will be moving Mukele to center back full time. He's still only 23 as well. 83 overall. We've got... A really good set of center backs right here, and they're all under the age of 23. 11 appearances, two clean sheets, not too bad. Should grow very well. Martel had an appearance there as well, almost an emergency appearance, um, but he did have one, so we'll have a chit of, uh, chat about him. Um, Mukele, 23 years of age, 83 overall, 29 appearances, a goal and two assists, mostly at right back, or maybe a little bit of a split, but I think like 20 to 10 at right back. Um, Luke Berger, someone we just promoted. He looks like he's going to be really good. We'll see if we can get him some time. Tyler Adams, 28 appearances, one goal, three assists. He's a really good player. It's tough to get him in ahead of Limer, but maybe if we can play, we can possibly play him at right back. Maybe? We'll see. We'll see, we'll see going forward. Berger as well, growing six overall up to 64, as I said. Just promoted should be a good option. And then Limer's first choice. 44 appearances, 7 goals, 6 assists, 12 assists, or 12 clean sheets. An excellent player. Someone else who can play it right back. Um, but an excellent, excellent player is Limer. 85 overall, still only 24. A bright future. Carrizo, he made one appearance in one of the sim games we had, but might grow up to be a pretty good player. Promoted early. We'll see going forward. Voigt, we are pretty blessed in midfield i mean it's it's one of those things voight um we may move him to cam 11 appearances one goal one assist um a good player Hydara, someone i want to get more appearances next year 22 appearances this year two goals and an assist only 23 should grow quite a bit campbell 25 appearances three goals 10 assists um a good player 30 years old and you can see he declined a little bit this year my problem with Campbell is that he is the only player up here who's older. 
30 years of age. He's going to start to decline. Do we take that money? We have a lot of midfielders. I'm not looking to bring in a midfielder over the summer. It's it's one of those things. Do we move him on? Let you know Voigt come into it a little bit more. Let Hydara come into it a little bit more. Gravenberch, we'll see going forward. And Gravenberch, 19, 73 overall. Nine appearances, a goal and an assist. Someone to be bought in accidentally almost in the January window. He was just offered to us, plus $11 million for Orban. That still seems like a good bit of business. Sabitza, 45 appearances, 15 goals, 13 assists, an excellent year. Still only 27. His prime will be spent here in Germany. And 85 overall, an excellent, excellent, excellent player. The captain, an excellent year for him. And Kunku, 42 appearances, 14 goals, 21 assists. 10 clean sheets as well. Excellent from Nkunku, who's just been moved to center midfield. He's probably best as a cam, I think. Um, but the way we set up, it's not a traditional cam. And moving him back was the best option. 84 overall, still only 23. What more could you ask for? Um, Danny Almo, 47 appearances, 16 goals, 20 assists. An excellent player who can play all over the pitch. 82 overall, has a very bright future ahead of him. Forsberg, 10 appearances, 2 assists. Someone else we're looking to move on at age 29. Doesn't really look like getting into this team at the moment. That's why we're moving on. His age is a little bit of a factor, but not a huge factor at 29. That is still your kind of prime age. Um, so moving him on is probably still the best point. And I believe he's leaving, actually, for $12 million. We'll have to take a look, but I believe he's already been bought. So he'll be moving on. Fekir, 40 appearances, 13 goals, 19 assists, 27, 84 overall. It's he's hasn't lit it up in terms of goals. Um, but as you can see, that's 32 contributions in 40 games. That's excellent. And he almost his pace brings a little bit of width going forward as well. He's an excellent player. Wolf will be coming back at 22. Another player we might think about keeping. We'll see. Schaefer just promoted. Of course, we were talking about Lookman coming back as well. Another player we may look to keep. And we're looking to bring in Clivert, who's a real player as well. So we're getting stacked in a lot of positions. We're going to need to make some cutthroat decisions. Paulson, 41 appearances, 16 goals, 9 assists, 26. You're about to move into his prime. An excellent player to have around. Eduard, 32 appearances, 27 goals, 11 assists. He had a heck of a second half season, up to 79 overall from when we bought him last summer. He is an excellent, excellent player, and he took over for Huang Yi Chen. He just slipped right in. It was like no change at all. What a second half to the season from him. And then um, a couple appearances here, one from Novoa, one appearance, 18 years old, 62 overall. We'll see about him. Hartman, two appearances as well. I believe, yeah, in the Bundesliga there. So, you know, not too bad to have around. And then Huang Hee Chan, the Korean wonder, 25 years of age, 37 appearances, 44 goals, 16 assists, and missed two months. Obviously came back, scored a goal in both finals, couldn't do enough in the last one, but in the one against Bayern was excellent, and we missed him. We missed him a little bit in the middle. We were struggling to find players to move into that front three. As we were trying to rotate and stuff, we missed him. We definitely missed him, but what a year. He had 22 appearances in the Bundesliga, 23 goals. We're going to see what that looked like in the Bundesliga, actually, in terms of goals scored. And he finished second behind Lewandowski and missed two months. Tough. Lewandowski finished top. There are a lot of good players here, a lot of good strikers. Lewandowski, Huang Yi Chan, Piatek. Holland, Milik, Playa, Andre Silva leading the charts there. Excellent from all of them, but a really, really good season. As for transfers, as we were saw, we may have to be cutthroat if we want to bring other players in. We want to bring in a right back, I think, and I want to bring in Angelino permanently. But now we're going to be in a position. We're going to bring in Clivert, or we're going to try to. He may not be able to come because he's just, you know, come back um, or just joined West Brom but we also have Lookman coming back we have Wolf coming back we're gonna have a lot of players in this midfield and forward area you know do we go out for a major signing do we look to just increase depth along the back line a little bit 
it's going to be tough. We may be able to bring in a proper backup or just keep in Vogo. It's going to be one of those very weird windows where we may have to move some players on. We don't want to move on because we have to be cutthroat in the way we, you know, set the team up. We're going to have a lot of midfielders. I mean, right now we have a lot. We have Sabitza, Limer, and Kunku. And then we have Campbell, Hydara, Tyler Adams, Voigt, Graven Birch. That's eight for three spots. We'll have a couple coming back. Up front, we have Olmo, Huangi Chan, Fekir. That's three. Eduard, Polson. We may be able to use some there, but we have Wolf coming back. Um, Forsberg will be leaving, but we have Lookman coming and um, Clivert. So it's tough. It's going to be tough to figure out what we want to do here. Backup goalkeeper, perhaps, or we may, I think keeping in Vogo might be the best option, but it's, it's going to be difficult, guys. But that is going to be the end of this. I hope you've enjoyed the first season. Next episode will obviously be starting season two, guys, but that is it. I hope you've enjoyed. Stay tuned for more. And peace.